Hi everyone, this is Juliet from Adventure Geek bringing you my treat of the week and this week is my personal location beaker which is the Rescue Me PLB. This is a fantastic bit of kit, um, it does what it says on the tin. A friend of mine actually lent this to me when I walked up Kinder Scout earlier in the year. I nearly had to use it on that particular one and I knew I needed to get one. They're quite expensive but this week I've actually purchased it so let me tell you all about it. Okie dokie, so this is it. How dinky is this? So, so this is called the Rescue Me PLB. It was originally made for the ocean, but obviously more and more backpackers are using it because obviously it can be used on land. You'll register it in the UK if you're from the UK, uh, but then you can use it all over the world. If you're in the US, you need to register it for the US registration, which will come in your pack anyway. So that's uh, that's really good. It's really dinky. I'll put the dimensions on the screen just over here. Um, and it comes with, let me show you what you actually get with it. So you get a flotation um, like case, flotation case and you can still open the front through the flotation case that clicks on there and it's got a, a little thing on the side so you can attach that to either a life jacket or a backpack in my case um, the reason I like this uh, I'll go in how to use it in a second but the reason I like this is mainly because it just does one thing it is just for emergencies um, it cost me £199, but that is it. There's no monthly subscriptions, which is one of the reasons I went for this, rather than um, like a Garmin inReach or a Spot or anything like that. With those particular bits of kit, you also need to pay like a monthly subscription. So that's it. It's seven years battery life, um, and you can use it over and over. <laughs> Hopefully you won't need to, um, but yeah, all you have to do is make sure that you're testing it on a regular basis. Um, so in the kit, not only do you get the flotation, um, obviously it's completely waterproof, but the flotation carry case. If you don't want to use that carry case, you also get um, a clip uh, that just clips onto the back and you get a rubber thing like that. So you can just strap it around your uh, shoulder strap if you wanted to. Uh, part of the kit as well, you get a full user manual, but it's really easy to use. It's just like a couple of buttons and that's it. Um, and you get registration documents. So I need to talk to you about the registration side of things. You do need to register this. This particular unit is actually, the thing that makes it so special, it's actually run by the government, which is why there's no subscription fee. Um, so literally on the side of your package, you have your information there, your personal information, and then you put that into, you can either go online or you can fill out the form that comes with it and send that back. Um, but it is a government website. So you register your details there, you put your emergency uh, contacts, so you have three options there. So I put three people in my emergency contacts. And basically what happens is when you activate it, so you can pull out the um, antennae, um, and then you pull out the, the little flap there and you can press the SOS button. And what happens is a signal goes up via satellite, uh, which then goes on to the registration information. They will phone your emergency contact just to say, you know, is Julia out on a walk or is she actually out and about? Whoever it is will say yes. Um, and therefore they will activate it immediately and they've got a homing signal straight away. Apparently it's really, really accurate. A friend of mine has been using this on the ocean for a long, long time. Uh, and she says, absolutely really good things about it and within that industry within the sailing industry this is a well-known bit of kit so I, I think it's great the weight of it is 142 grams actually I've weighed that on mine uh, and that's with the flotation carry case as well so I don't know how I'll put some facts up here as to how that marries up with uh, the Garmin uh, personal location beacons um, it's lightweight, it has a lithium battery as well, and the battery lasts for seven years. Uh, and as you say, if you've used it once, that's not the end of it, you can actually use it over and over. So it's got a really good life span as well, so in my opinion, this is a fantastic investment. Um, it is completely waterproof, 
to the extent that you can merge it up to 15 meters and it'll still work absolutely fine. So that's a bit of a heads up. So this is really good for people like kayakers uh, as well. So if you're gonna drop it or whatever, you know that you're, you're good to go. All right, so let me just talk about how you actually use this bit of kit. So obviously you pull the antennae out. If you wanted to retract it, it's a bit like a tape measure, literally on the top, you just turn this around and it pulls it back in. Um, as you say, you want to be testing it at least once every six months. So you open the flap, um, you hold that down for a couple of seconds. Um, it goes, uh, it literally flashes and just says it's doing the test and it will come back to say whether it's accurate or not. Um, so we can test that. Uh, and that's it really. The negatives about it, so let's talk about some of the negatives. I can only think of one negative uh, and that negative is that you can't, unlike the Garmin's, obviously the Garmin's are tracking you as well, so you can't send a link so people can track you online. Um, and the other thing is you can't send like a text message or anything like that at the end of the day to say where you are. So there's no two-way communication. This just does what it says on the tin, it is a personal location beacon and that's it. You know, to be honest with you, with mobile phone services nowadays, you tend to get mobile phone services, even on the top of Snowden, there's Wi-Fi. Um, so I'm out just doing regular local walks. It's handy to have this for emergencies, just in case there isn't a mobile phone service. Uh, but the majority of the time, you know, my phone will do the trick. So that's the only thing, that's the only negative thing I can think about. Uh, apart from that, this was gonna be with me from this day forward. It will always be on my shoulder strap of my backpack. Anyway, hope that helps. If you've got any questions about that, I'll put a link to this down um, below. And uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, you know where I am. Don't forget, get outside, get inspired, and go take a hike when you can. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Ta-da. Bye-bye.